You ain't ready today. I'm excited. You know how you been saying, man, I'm about to try to get into this tech world, yeah, yeah. trying to be a billionaire. I want some Bitcoin. I, I want some that. cryptocurrency. For sure. You remember you was all on the cryptocurrency? I was. We ain't had the right people. Mm. We didn't know the right folks. Mm. We was just out here, you know, just on a hope and a prayer, <laughs> you know, just buying whatever coins we could find. Mm. But we should have got in touch with our next guest first. Okay, okay. Had we done that, J-O-N, ain't no telling how much paper we had. We probably been on Elon Musk status. Man. If we would have got in early on the crypto boom, if we would have just knew them when they did the GameStop shit, we would have been straight. <laughs> but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Now we know the right people and we plugged in. But before we even get to introducing people, you know what I got to do, right? You got to do, bro. Got to let them know the black market is open. <laughs> What they don't know is, J.O.N., when we was building this black market, we wanted to have like a black version of Radio Shack in there. Like, I remember Radio Shack was the shit, like in the 80s. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even walk by Radio Shack without going in there. They had all the race cars outside, remote control shit with the batteries and shit. Yeah. You could just grab a remote. And... Then they'll put the batteries in there and let you drive the shit. You knew you couldn't afford that shit. <laughs> this is back when remote control cars were like $150. <laughs> Crazy. What a time. But my next young partner, my next young guest that I got in here, bro, CEO of a tech company. You love to see black people doing shit like that. So I need everybody here to welcome Josh Hollis to the black market. Yes, sir. Josh, what's up, man? What's up, Carlos? How you doing? Man, tell me something good. Man, everything's going good right now. Blessed to be here. I appreciate you all for having me. Hey, man, we appreciate sir. you stopping through here because I heard you've been out here making a whole bunch of moves, making making some money, doing all kinds of amazing things in the community. What's been up, sure. man? How's business? It's going great, man. Amazing. We just graduated from Techstars Atlanta. That's uh, what's up. Uh, powered by J.P. Morgan. So, okay, so you know it's big money. Yes, sir. So we're out here uh, raising the seed round, automating our application, getting it out, and about to push out events coming up this new year. So we're very excited. Man, what you, what you got over here? What you working on? I see you got mm -hmm. the screens out. What, yes, what is this? So this is a demo of our iOS application. Okay. Basically what we have is a social event platform for event management and experience discovery. It's a two-sided platform, two-sided marketplace. Essentially you have your event creators and your experience goers, and we service in-person, hybrid, and uh, virtual events. Mm. Yes, sir. So like a social event, right, if you will. Oh, what, yes, what, what sparked it? So in high school, I was uh, in charge of coordinating homecoming and prom. I was an event curator for that. And just stepping into the shoes of an event curator, I got to experience the tedious task of uh, curating an event, you know, coordinating with venues, finding the perfect place to accommodate my guests, uh, things of that nature, then the promotional aspects of it. And in that moment, it sparked the idea of like, what if all this was streamlined? So then in college, when I went off to Boston University, I seen uh, multiple instances of students going to events and the venue being over capacity <laughs> and people just not having a realistic idea of what they're gonna do within their city. So that idea came about once again. The summer of 2016, I was working at Southern Company uh, doing application development there and I kind of got distraught with the corporate lifestyle. I was working at AT&T the past two summers and going into Southern Company doing application development. And I decided that summer, man, why don't I just go head first into this entrepreneurial route? So Why do I did so that. many people quit the corporate world? I feel like people want to really have passion. You know, they want to be passionate about what they do. Um, and there's a, there's a really good quote, you know, if you, uh, if you love what you do, then you won't work a day in your life. And since then, I feel like I haven't worked a day in my life. Mm. Uh, it's been tedious, you know, it's been arduous and like a ton of work involved, but I've enjoyed every single, you know, every single step of the process, so. 
Well, you know, you keep hearing all these things about how it's not many black people in the tech world or in the tech mm -hmm. field. What has been your experience as a black man in the tech mm -hmm. world? Uh, it's it's been it's been a journey, man. So you know, obviously, it's uh, predominantly you know dominated by you know white males, Indian males, and it's been a journey because you know going into the space. You don't know what to expect, you know, especially from a young entrepreneur. I started my company when I was 18, 17, 18. So I didn't know about, you know, venture capital and uh, raising money until I really got into the space. And obviously, you know, we're going to have to diversify <coughs> the space. We're going to need a, a new wave of entrepreneurs, a new wave of investors coming about in the space and investing in people that look like us. Mm. I think a really good example of this is a, there's a company there. There's a venture capital firm called Harlem Capital. They're investing in diverse entrepreneurs and founders, women uh, and founders of color, and um, a ton of you know new black-owned tech companies are coming about. So I think the space is changing, but it's going to really have to start with the, uh, us as a community. You know, as everyone knows, we we have the culture, and if we can kind of merge the culture and tech, then we're going to see a lot of uh, equity, racial equity, come into play. What's the goal with the app? <coughs> Our goal with the app is to scale and, you know, make it the, essentially the, the, the one-stop shop for experiences. So uh, not only can you, you know, go to a festival, a concert, a party, say you want to go to Miami and jet ski, you know, we'll provide you those experiences. Just providing people an avenue to not only connect to their favorite people, places, and things, but to also have that experience curated from start to finish. Pretty much to guarantee you have the time that you want to have. Exactly. That's dope. A concierge from your pocket, if you will. And it can be for whatever it is you feel like doing. Exactly. Worldwide. Worldwide. That's hard. Yes, sir. Because you just see a lot of people, they, you know, they want to recreate the pictures of people's vacations and go to places that they go. But it's like, it looks fun, but you don't know exactly the details mm -hmm. and the ins and outs of this. So. Exactly. I think that'll be dope to just bring that experience to the to the user. Yes, like sir. You said, that's, Streamline it. That's a genius ass idea. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hell yeah, man. So who who's who else is on your team that keeps you motivated, that keeps you innovative, yes, sir. keeps you going and all of that? Yes, sir. So I have my two co founders, my <laughs> older brother. His name is James Hollis. That's crazy, he, man. What is it like being in business with your with your brother? Especially uh -huh. being the little brother. Yeah, it's been amazing, man. Obviously, you know, we, we have our uh, our mishaps, but Working with family, you know, you, you're always going to work through those scenes and right. become stronger and grow from those experiences. So it's been uh, it's been very rewarding as well. You know, he compliments my strengths and, and I compliment or I compliment his weaknesses and he we you know we compliment each other's strengths as well. So yeah. it's been a it's been a really great journey building with, with my with my blood brother. So yeah. um, in addition to that, I got my consider him my brother uh, Malik Malik G. He's the uh, our operations officer. He's also uh, our host. He hosts all our events. Yeah. Just a brief, a brief background on Malik. Malik went viral on uh, the Rap Battle parody, which is like a, a viral uh, YouTube skit. Um, it's a comedian, super hot fire. I'm yeah, not sure yeah. if you guys all know that. He's cool. the host of all those videos. They actually just put out a video uh, nine days ago with uh, a rapper named Babytron. They already went viral. It's already hit like 1.1 million views and counting. So Malik's the energy of the company. He brings the energy to our in-person experiences, hosts all of them, and he's done an amazing job for us thus far. What would you say is your role? You got your big mm -hmm. brother there, so I'm sure y'all have mm -hmm. already delegated who does what yes, and makes the host. What's your strength? I'm like the brain of the company. Like I'm the lifeblood. I keep it going, keep it the wheels turning. Um, when when people when we, you know, obviously in business you're gonna have your droughts, your periods of um, you know un being unsure. And I keep everybody motivated and keep everybody stuck in the vision. Right. Um, what about your brother? My brother, he's our chief financial <coughs> officer. He has his uh, his Series Six, Series Seven, all his financial licenses. So he pretty much handles uh, financial operations. He also helps us uh, with the f fundraising and uh, allocation of you know our um, accounts, uh, accounts receivable and accounts payable. Things of that nature. What would you say is like? I'm asking you this as you know, as a black man in tech, what's been your most successful way to raise capital? Or uh, what works best for your company? Well, 
at first it was through friends and family. Um, just having a really solid network. I came into it with a really uh, strong network. Uh, just a brief background. Our first investor was the, uh, he was a former uh, VP of Oracle and uh, president of a company called M4. So he was our, our first investor. And we, I came into it with a strong network from uh, my college acquaintances and, and friends I, I met along the way. But more recently through Techstars, which is a global uh, pre-seed and seed um, investment incubator, uh, essentially with Techstars, they have this thing called the Techstars Universe. And there's a whole network uh, and database of investors. And my biggest um, success I've seen thus far is taking all those investors, aggregating them into our own database, and blasting out email campaigns and taking meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings with them. So that's been a very uh, successful method of how we've been fundraising more recently. That's hard, man. What can we look forward to from like from y'all in the future? Yes, sir. We're going to have a new <coughs> iteration of our app coming out, version 2.0. That's going to be the full bells and whistles of our app. You know, we're going to have uh, automated uh, host approvals. So right now, you go on our app. It's a manual process involved. We, you know, we've delegated and curated our network of hosts and uh, event creators. But all that's going to be automated in the next iteration of our app. We're going to have things like follow kits where you can, you know, follow, uh, you know, your favorite event uh, attendees and event creators. Um, group messaging, going live at events, things of that nature. Just things that make the experience very intuitive and, and a one-stop shop experience. I got to get you to check out our app while you're here. Yes, sir. We got a Channel 8 and 5 app. Yes, sir. Where we put um, all our exclusive content up. So I want you to give me your, give me a tech eye on it. Check oh, that okay, out. There we go. Go through there. Let me know oh, what you think, dope. man. We might need to. We might can kick some back and forth off camera how we can make our app better. Oh, I love this. This is really dope. One stop shop for all the all things eighty five mm -hmm. South and everything we produce. Kind of got a, like a world star feeling to it, if exactly. you will. Exactly. A little cleaner than than world star, in my opinion. Yeah, man. I love it. See, we out here talking to professionals, man. We trying to take our app to the next level. And, and things of that nature, man. You know, you never know. We might have a collab here in the future, man. What's your social media and all that, and where can they find you? And yes, sir. Where can I'm they invest with that. you? And huh? I'm definitely going to download that. Give y'all five stars man, as well. Man, most definitely. Uh, so let them know where they can get in touch with you. Yes, sir. Support you. Yes, invest sir. with you. Uh, shoot some ideas over. Mm -hmm. So my social media is J Moves. That's J M O V E Z. Uh, you can find us everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, or I guess it's X now. X. It's nice X. Twitter. We it's black. Not, <laughs> you know, black people, once we know your first name, we're going to call you that forever. Yeah. It's, it's but, forever uh, be Twitter. But you can find us at Moves app. That's M-O-V-E-Z, A-P-P, -P, everywhere. And uh, we have a lot of other apps in, 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 uh, in the works as well. So make sure you check us out. Download us on the App Store. Give us five stars. Leave us a rating. And, you know, we're going to be pushing out events, content, a lot of exclusive things on our social media and uh, our iOS and Android applications. Look, this is your first time stopping through the black market, yes, but don't let it be the last. Definitely won't. You got the demo this time. Yes, sir. So when you when you up and running and you fully funded and everything, come back and promote the app. Yes, sir. And we'll definitely be hosting events with you guys in the future. You know, yeah, we, let's we got collab on some something virtual, man. Let's let's try to find a way to get 85 South in the tech world. For sure. Exactly. Love that idea. We need to bring back chat rooms or something. Yes, sir. We might be able to talk <laughs> to the people and revive Black Planet. Anything. You yeah. never know. We already got the culture, so if we can merge the two, we we got the capital, the culture capital. So you over there in the tech, I'm over here in the culture. You gotta you gotta be my gateway over there. Yes, sir. All right, man. So look here. The black market is open. Black people taking over the tech world. <laughs>